Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about the bootstrap view and how you can use the checkbox inside the form. You have a lot of options and I will speak about the, the little of the options, how you can check uh, checkboxes and, and something like that. So this video is about checkbox in the view to uh, bootstrap and uh, that's what we're gonna do today. I really hope you enjoy me here with my video uh, tutorials and uh, I hope you want to subscribe to this channel and I really hope you want to share with your friends and like the, the, the video. If you have any questions after the video, you're very welcome to smash the comments and ask me questions. I really appreciate to answer you as fast as I can. Thank you so much and let's start in the video. The first the checkbox you want to create will be a very basic one and it will look similar like what you would normally use in, in, uh, inside uh, HTML but uh, that's what we want to do right now so let's build the first one B checkbox and uh, let me just say I accept the terms and use that will be a very simple checkbox normally and uh, then we can bind it with the model and we can checkbox one we will have uh, more checkboxes uh, over time here in this video and then we want to say the value the value is should be accept accepted sorry and normally you can say on and off uh, if uh, if you want, like um, if you have an HTML and uh, you basically not check the checkbox, it will be nothing. It will be unidentified. And if you check it, it will be on. We have changed the value to uh, to accept it and not one uh, on. Sorry. And uh, then when you uncheck it again, it will be unidentified normally. But we want to say unchecked value should be not accepted and I will show how it's a look down below here and I'll just make H R and then we go here I'll scroll it down and, and put it inside and say this is null so right now it's just nothing and let's go in for the browser here and see it you can see this one and if I uncheck it it's not accepted so what we're gonna do it's going back for the editor because you can see it's not starting about uh, that because we have uh, setting the default value as uh, none no sorry and then we say not accepted and then we should good to go you can see not accepted accepted not accepted so that's the two value we have in the very basic uh, uh, the checkbox forms. Let's uh, speak about how we can working with the checkbox in the checkbox group in uh, for the for the bootstrap uh, form. And then we can going up here, and we will create a new one. You can say B form checkbox group. You have it here. And then we go down and say uh, B form checkbox. And for this, we want to say value blue and what pink, black, and yellow. And yellow. And we will say when you have a group. And you need to bind the value you need to bind the the model up here so we say checkbox 2 it doesn't exist yet but we will do this and i'll just put it down here and i will make it an empty array because now we will enable to check more than once so let's go back for the browser I have it here. I have pink, yellow, remove the pink and put in the blue. 
and that's how it's working when you work with the very basic about the the group in the bootstrap view and the checkbox and of course if you want to let's say you want to disable you can select the black or the yellow let's let's say the the yellow you want to say you can't pick up the yellow uh, color here we can just scroll up and say disable here and that's meaning for now the yellow here can't be uh, selected all the other colors can do that so that's working pretty good let's hit him back for the for the editor one more time here and uh, the next we want to speak about is uh, how we can create uh, the options based now, now I have creating the form manually but we can use all of those uh, by using the, the array with the content inside so you can make it more dynamic if you have a lot of checkboxes it De uh, depends on your side and your content so that's what I want to show you now so let's uh, build a B here again B form check whoops Object box group and then we go down here. Nope, we just do this because we don't have any stuff inside. And uh, what we're gonna do now is say stacked. If you don't just use stacked, it will be on a one line and it's not look pretty nice. I don't like that. And then we want to say options and check box three options and then find it for checkbox tree and another field should be item and name field should be field name here name field should be this one and disabled fields here should be not enabled Well, here we go. So the point here is we have um, a group. Okay, just a second. I need checkbox tree here. Okay, the point of uh, what we're gonna do now is we have all the we have our array with the with the objects inside, and uh, in this object we have. Uh, called item name and uh, not enabled this is true and false the not enabled should be true and false name should be a string and the value item could be anything it's a string or int it's up to you it doesn't matter so let's copy this and uh, put it inside here and then we're going a little bit down and what we're gonna do here it's an array I would say name uh, field one and uh, item field one not enabled be false and then I can just copy this three times. Just to show you what's happening here, and the field not about the number two should be not enabled true, and let's going back to the browser and see what happened here. And you can see we, we have some issues here, and let's going back for the editor and fix the issues. Let's scroll a little bit up and see. Sorry, it's because it's because the name should be the text field. Let's go in for the browser one more time and see what happening. Now we have field one, field three, and we can't pick up the field too so if we have a lot of changes here we can just do it and what I mean with stack this one is not so beautiful if you have let's say uh, if some light kind of filter it's a uh, good to if you have like it should be a block and it should be a semi static page or something like that but uh, this one is more smooth I think but yeah it's a uh, it's up to you you are the coder and you're the designer so that's up to you but that's how it's working and uh, the nice thing if we're going a little bit down here if we add one more and 
call it fall. Then I can basically do this one and send it up and say value. Whoops, should I was just set an uh, object inside. And then I want to say uh, allowed true, something like that. And what I will show you now is when you use the view in the bootstrap, you can basically just use an array. Uh, array object sorry now you can see we have uh, field one and field three it's uh, just the strings if you pick the field four it's a uh, it's object and contain more data so you can make some, something like that if you want and it's very cool in some cases to, to do use this so as default we can uh, we just use the the not so nice um, html styles but we can, we can change the style so let's do this, going back for the editor, and um, that's what we're going to do now. I'll just copy this one, and we call it, uh, we, we still use the checkbox uh, tree uh, options, because that's what we're going to do. And I'll add the number 4 here, and uh, that's pretty good. So. Let's just keep it in, in mind, that's what we're going to do. And uh, we have now stacked, and if you want to change the style, we can just use the buttons. And uh, you can see how it's working here. And you can see we, we group it down here, and something uh, working pretty good. And that's how you can change with the style buttons. And uh, of course, we can change the the style um, inside, and uh, you can set the variant color here. You can see it up here. Let's say we want to say succeeds, and we're going down back, and now it's green, and we can go in back and say danger, and that's pretty nice if you really want. Uh, some kind of group and if we change it a little bit and remove the stack then in this case it's probably make more sense to use buttons and yeah you can play around with it it's a uh, you can use many hours to design your own um, your own data here but uh, I'll just make a beer here breakpoint so it's look like the other stuff the ups here the next we want to speak about should be how we can change the the, the style from um, from the buttons to switches and we can just copy this so and use the five and the five here and scrolling down here and use the five here See, we still use the checkbox tree up if you don't want to create that again. And uh, we want to stack it again. And I want to use switches. And I don't want to use the button color anymore. Let's go back here and see what's happening. Now you can see it's looked like you're on iPhone. Uh, I'm not using the Android, so I don't know how it's looked like on the Android. But here's how it's looking on the iPhone. So it's Probably a little bit of a color. I think it's green on iPhone if I'm not remember I'm correct. And uh, that could be a nice one, like if you want to uh, design, like uh, enable the notifications for something like the uh, when a user posts new stuff and something like that. Then uh, you can use this design. It's, it's pretty nice and it's just a signal to the client, like it's a turn off and turn on. And uh, I think that's a good way to, to see that done. So let's go back to the browser and speak about the, the last thing about the checkbox before we are finished. The last thing we want to speak about here should be how you can validate the checkbox. And I think that's a good way to do this now. So we still use the checkbox three options and that's working pretty good so I think why not so we have the checkbox 6 here and uh, 
let's go up and, and create some validation here. We have uh, B4 and invalid uh, fallback, and then we add the state. Should be this one. And please select two and just say state. Yeah, that's fine. And then we say thank you. And then we have a it. And we're going down to uh, to the methods, the computed sir. I won't see about we have this now. Nope. So I'm scrolling up here and say that. Remember when you use the uh, computer in view, if you don't have so much experiment with that, that's the cache. So when uh, it's a cache function, you can get access to. So if you want to change something in the computer, you need to change it to the methods because after the page is rendered, it will not be changeable. So it's good to validation so you can uh, call the function inside. So that's what we want to do here. Checkbox number six. And then the length is equal to two. You can just say, uh, that's fine. So that's meaning we can, we should always working with the two or not. Please select two and thank you. And I will just remove the switches down here for this. We don't need that. We just use the, uh, the, the regular one, this one. And you can see, you can only select two now. And uh, that's fine. And I don't need this one. So that's all for me and I really hope you enjoyed this video and uh, remember you can download the code from my github uh, profile, the link will be in the description of course and uh, I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel and I really hope you want to share this and like it so your friends can see what's happening and of course if you have any questions please make a comment below. I'll be very happy to answer you and thank you so much to see this video to the end. Hope to see you next time. Bye.